Hey folks, it's Brian. Another uh, Far Horizons update. I just got done with my quiz. I missed two. I hate when that happens. They were they were essentially dumb mistakes, and they weren't even qu questions I was going back to review again a second time. So, I don't know. maybe I'm just going too fast again. I get nervous that way. Anyway, Bill's personal log. Okay, it turns out that that Carillion ship that shot at the ship we were in was a was a Carillion. <laughs> the ship that fired on us was a Carillion ship, a destroyer. Um, you know, the Carillions, they just want to keep the, you know, the, we want the government to just keep control of everybody. And the local government is very concerned about these the religious upheaval that's happening. And they're afraid it's going to bring undue attention to the Carillions, right? So this leads us to thinking, why did the Carillions just fire on us out of the blue? No announcements, nothing like land your ship or get fired on, just out of the blue. So we're thinking that there might be a mole in the Rebel Alliance and that the Carillions want this alien intelligence thing to do something. We know this the black goose stuff can do. Well, we know it can do something. We're not sure what exactly can do, though. But anyway, back to the uh, the clinic. So uh, we stabilize the unconscious patients. And we check out the rest of the lab. There, the rest of that lab. There's also six exam rooms. And one of them is a patient who has on her arm carved a perfectly circular circle, right? perfectly circular, a perfect circle. Um, and from what the doc can tell, it looks like she duck it out with her fingernail. We wake her up, she starts to scream, freaking out, like she's totally insane. So we, we sedate her. The last exam room, number six, has got the door closed. So we pop it open, sure enough, there's this blackened figure on the ground and it's got that smoky, uh, do stuff coming up from his eyes. We flame it and fire at it. Um, and about that time, we get a call from Scott saying the Krillians are on their way. He suggests we hurry things up if we need to, hack the database, find out where all the patients are. But anyway, the last target, you know, motion sensors, the last target we were able to find is in another part of another lab in the clinic, uh, which is off to the right hand side towards the front. but um, it's against one of the, the alleyways. So we work our way down there, do all kinds of stealthy kind of, or stealthy kind of stuff, right? Double coverage. <laughs> These things, they don't die easy. Uh, but we get to the lab, <clears throat> and sure enough, there's the target pounding on the window. It's one of those reinforced, bulletproof kind of things, right? And uh, so we flame it, throw in some fire bombs. And start blasting it. Well, when all the smoke clears, there's enough crack in the window that the goo stuff is squeezed through and nailed the Carillion out in the alleyway. So I take the Gauss pistol, bam, 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 blast the the, uh, the window out. And we go running over there. I put a couple rounds to him, completely destroy his chest. Um, but then the goo starts to rise up out of him. The smoky tendril things, right? Somebody screams, it's still alive. So we flame it, blast it again. Um, and, and we jump out, put some disintegration tabs on his body. Um, and about that time, we start taking some weapons fire from out in town, you know, around the corner kind of thing. So um, we uh, throw some smoke bombs to give us some cover. We grab the camera and we run drop down in the sewers and start taking off. And as we're running down these sewers, we go through some trouble, like, like an earthquake kind of thing happening. We get to where we think we're far enough away, give Scott a call, get directions of where we are. You know, we're at Smith and Winston, you know, something like that, right? Um, and uh, they send a car to come and get us, take us to the hotel. Turns out the Karelians have executed the unity government executive and the judiciary. Um, the religious factions are in chaos. Um, but nothing specific can get out of the news feeds on these on any new factions. Um, 
the mining accident now saw the one that we called in nothing and there's no communication out of Bechtel at all um, ASL here on planet is opening their doors to refugees um, the ambassador row series of arm camps um, the next day lieutenant Jacobson actually comes to the hotel tells us that Scott is dead and uh, they, the Alliance, the Alliance, the Rebel Alliance sets up transportation for us off planet on our ship with our TV and all of our stuff. Um, and he asks, he like, tells us, he tells us to take the girl with us. We've got her sedated. She's actually in the room. Um, uh, to, to Botham it. He gives us some doctor's name uh, at Monte Carlo uh, to turn her over to him. Check out some of the camera footage. There's, you know, shots of the bridge of the destroyer. Um, some very disturbing images of the Corellian holding cells. Um, and some recordings of interviews with his subordinates. Don't get a whole lot out of that one. Uh, push and log off. Uh, a couple of things. It was pretty cool getting a critical hit on the Corellian's chest with that Gauss pistol. That was wild. Which makes me wild. Did I pick up his Gauss pistol? I should have grabbed his Gauss pistol. He had a Gauss pistol, by the way. Krillings, they can have, you know, illegal weapons, that kind of thing. Um, but there's actually a whole bunch of other stuff that went on in, in, in the in the um, in the clinic. Uh, that I just don't have, have notes on, you know, about some of the stuff, hearing things, moving around other places and checking stuff out and that kind of thing. But eventually you know, we got that blast lab where we thought got the deal and getting shot up around town we only assume it was Krillians um, but we got out of there and we're headed off planet back to Baphomet for some downtime happy gaming